Yeah, on that note, I think I saw an interview with you where uh, you were basically talking about like there's going to be this proof of stake return on ETH. It doesn't really matter what the price of ETH is because different uh, investors and institutions can find a way to hedge the risk on ETH and still get that 15% or some percentage yield. Can you just talk more about that? I thought that was such an interesting point. Yeah, yeah. The, so it's a really cool kind of situation because the yield... Uh, the staking yield on ETH is denominated in ETH. Uh, yeah. And the other thing is it's coming from issuance uh, rather than like a fixed coupon or something. Um, so the cool thing about that is it's it's a lot less risky than a cash flow from a company uh, because it's not like, oh, if like something happens, then, you know, you won't you won't get the issuance yield. Um, you'll get the issuance yield. Uh, the risk is going to come from somewhere else, which is uh, if more people stake then the issuance to like the yield to each of the stakers goes down. Uh, but the nice thing about that is if more people stake, uh, there's less liquid supply of ETH. So uh, that kind of creates a supply squeeze. Um, and then kind of to go back to what you're saying, I just, I looked at it and I was like, there's going to be a ton of incentive to stake the, your Ethereum because it's not just about like absolute yields. Uh, there are ways to kind of capture that. And so if the, Yield on Ether is 15%, let's say. Uh, it's 15% whether ETH is at $500 or $50,000 because it's denominated in ETH. And so if you own 100 ETH, you get 15 ETH no matter what the price of ETH is. Um, the cool thing about that is that you could, uh, you could hedge that out. So you could uh, buy 100 ETH, stake it uh, short, uh, 100 ETH futures and um, like whatever that issuance is, is you just get the, you can like kind of capture that, that issuance. Um, and I mean, that's a really like crude mechanism of doing it. I think there's going to be a lot of like more sophisticated uh, yield uh, products that, I mean, it's DeFi, we're going to create financial products for it. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's like, it, you're not going to need to do go through all that to do it, I think. But the point is like, there's no like yields aren't going to stop going down because oh like seven percent is like a good discount rate or something as long as sure. you can keep capturing that yield people are going to keep staking and capturing that free money and so um that's yeah that's great it's a good reason institutions will come in and it's also a good reason why much more eth will be staked than people expect which is uh really bullish <laughs>